So I'm here with Antoner Fung from XCDC at St. FX University, uh, an entrepreneurial support guru in the local community. And I uh, just wanted to first ask Anne, uh, uh, what's sort of her role in the system and what is she most passionate about with respect to entrepreneurship? Okay, well I'm the acting director for the St. FX Enterprise Development Center and my, my role is essentially just to foster entrepreneurship in the community and to work with startups, entrepreneurs, people who are interested in starting businesses, help them access resources, we provide business counseling, we provide a lot of skills development and training as well. What I'm most passionate about is I, I believe that entrepreneurship is probably one of the most transformative educational experiences that anybody can have. Um, so whether you get into business because you have to, because it's, it's a necessity, or whether you do it by choice, or whether you're somebody who's an entrepreneur from birth, I have one of those uh, as a child, <laughs> uh, whatever the reason you get into it, the process of being in business and running a business is going to change you as an individual and you're going to learn from it and you're going to expand your horizons. Um, so that's kind of what drives me. And I've been interested in business for a long time. My, the first business that I was involved in, I was in my early 20s. So it's been a while. Uh, that's absolutely amazing. So you've had a, a long history of then supporting entrepreneurship, which is great. So since you've had such a long history, uh, you must have come to to understand some of the kind of the most pressing challenges perhaps that are facing Canadian Nova Scotia uh, and Iganish entrepreneurs. And I mean, do you see, you know, a particular challenge that like really needs to be addressed? And not only that, but that we could get close to a practical solution to solving it um, and possibly within the lifetime of a movement like Startup Canada. Okay, well, I, I think there are a lot of challenges uh, depending on the nature of the entrepreneur and where they are in that um, cycle that continuum of entrepreneurship for some of them is just knowledge skills knowing what to do when to do it and how to do it best uh, for others it's access to capital and access to the right kind of capital and in the right amounts for others it's simply just navigating the system finding the resources because there are there are actually a lot of supports there are a lot of resources and there are an awful lot of people that don't know about them so that's also a challenge so there there are a number of challenges on the information sharing, information dissemination, we have lots of tools, the technology, utilizing the technology better to make sure information is out there, giving people a one, one point of access, so one-stop shopping. I would love to see that being associated with an actual physical space, a place where people bump into each other and because of, because of the way they bump into each other, because they're forced into environments where idea exchange happens, um, innovation happens and new ideas emerge and I think those types of spaces are lacking certainly I know they're lacking in rural Nova Scotia I know there are some really exciting spaces happening in Halifax uh, but we're a little far away from Halifax and for businesses here to drive two and a half hours to take part in some of the activities that are going on is a real challenge some of the things we're looking at would be developing a, a place, a space where entrepreneurs come together, where they have access to resources, where they have the immediacy of contact on an ongoing basis, but also, and this is where you referred to the incubator octopus, which is just a, a bit of a notion that we were playing with, where we would have a central hub where these, these services are co-located and these resources come together, but there would be tentacles reaching out into the smaller communities, providing access, maybe through video conferencing opportunities, uh, maybe through web web conferencing, web seminars, things of that nature, so they could get access and they could tap into that central space. They could also physically come in, but when that's not a possibility, they could just come in virtually. Fantastic. Well, I really appreciate that. Uh, Antoner Fung from St. FX Town Hall with some great ideas for the community. So let us know what you think. And, uh, and if you're from Inigganish or you're from the surrounding area, let us know if you think a central center would really help you guys out in growing your businesses. Thanks. Wonderful.